G'day, it's Bill here from Sidereal Trading. It's not just telescope sales and manufacturing we do here. We get to sometimes put equipment together for clients, normally to go in our own AstroWorks telescopes, of course. Today I've got to put together an imaging train. It's basically standard QHY equipment, but as normally happens, there's a couple of quirks that I have to work around. The client is after a QHY 268M that's going to go with a seven slot filter wheel with Antlia filters. It's going also with a medium QHY off axis guider. The thing that makes it a little bit non standard is it's being mated with a BARTA MPCC3 coma corrector. And if you take off the 42 millimeter thread on the MPCC3, that's got a back focus of 58 millimeters, not the standard 55. So let's have a look. Now, if you look at the QHY website, they publish diagrams of how these things are meant to go together. If we had a coma corrector with a 55 millimeter back, back focus, we'd do this. From the coma corrector, there's a female M48 threaded part that forms the start of the train. That's five millimeters. Next is the OAG, which is 10 millimeters wide. After this, there are some spaces, and QHY says you use two three millimeter spaces for the 55 millimeter back focus train. This all gets bolted to the front plate of the filter wheel using long M3 bolts. The assembled filter wheel is 21.5 millimeters wide and the sensor on the 268 is 12.5 millimeters inside the camera. Of course, because we've removed the 42 millimeter thread from the coma corrector, there's 58 millimeters from the revealed flange. So we're gonna have to add another three millimeters of space behind the OAG. So it's gonna look like this. It's all the same except there's an extra spacer in there. Luckily, there was a th an extra three millimeter spacer. I'm not sure if it came with the OAG or the camera, but we do have it. The only other change is that the bolts have to be a bit longer and QHY has been nice enough to add extra bolts of different sizes in there as well. All right, so we have to open up this thing and put in the filters. Before I get any older, I'm going to have to remove the plate so I can remove that adapter. Do not touch the one in the middle. slightly longer than the others. Those ones are the LRGB filters and I will do those first. Luminance. Luminance goes in to one. Luminous. Red is the next one. That goes into one. Oh, sorry, two. Blue. 
Now, hydrogen. Which one's hydrogen? Stop for lunch. Woo. Everybody stop for lunch. Can this go flange? Yes, it does. All right, so give me one of those guys. Right, and here it is. This is the, uh, the, the finished imaging train. Uh, take the cap off. There's the BARTA MPCC3, the threaded, the thread, threaded flange, then the OAG, three spaces, the filter wheel with the filters inside it, and the monochrome camera. So that just goes straight into your imaging, imaging, imaging train. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, like this video, little short one. Um, yeah, like, rate, you know all the normal things you have to do. So um, I'm Bill from Sidereal Trading and uh, see you next time.